All right, so hello everybody. Today for you a book review, and that is going to be on Wanderers by Chuck Wendig. Okay, so this is um, the, the general synopsis for this book is always that they all a bunch of people just start like randomly sleepwalking, and then, like nothing can stop them. If you try to physically stop them, they will explode, kind of thing. Um, but what's also that is not actually generally uh, talked about. Um, when people talk about this book, although it is in the synopsis in the front, is that while this is going on, there is this massive, like, epidemic going on. It's like, it is, like, very comparable to The Stand, which is what a lot of people do compare this book to. Um, and the book follows a, a bunch of people, some of whom are trying to, um, work on the, the pandemic, some of whom are trying to talk, work on these weird people who are walking, um, some people who are related to either of those. There's also a very large um, political unrest part of this. Wendig is, I think, kind of infamous for being, um, making conservatives angry. Um, and this one is very, like, they do, they're the, kind of the main villain is very, um, uh, you know, it's very, you know, white supremacy, um, y you know, like, it's very reminiscent of a lot of things that are, I mean, it's it's very, it's very current feeling is what all I'm gonna say there. Uh, so this is pretty much, like I was saying, like, this is pretty much the worst case scenario for both pandemic and alt-right things. Um, as I am filming this, it is December 20th, 2020, so we're still kind of um, knee deep in pandemic, although vaccines are starting to roll out and um, we are, I mean, the election is over and um, Democrats won. So it's like, at this point, don't want to be, you know, too optimistic, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, when I read this book, it was August and in August it was still like raging, raging, raging a virus. Um, no real idea what was going to happen after the election kind of thing. Um, and so, especially when I was reading this, if you read this book in between, like, I want to say May and September, that is like prime time to read this book because it is just so fucking current and really kind of chilling in that way. Um, so this does have a larger cast. Um, that's another reason why it's kind of comparable to The Stand is because the cast is actually pretty big. Um, I did enjoy most of the characters, but Pete Corley was just really fun. He was like a, a washed up, um, like, 80s uh, rock star, and I liked him a lot. Um, he was, I don't know, he was just he was just really funny, and he his his whole vibe and his whole um, sort of reason for doing what he did I really really enjoy because it was you know it was he did do a, some good things but it was a lot of really doing them for for the attention that he's missing now that he's not um like in the limelight anymore and I, that was interesting um on it like I was saying honestly it's kind of terrifying to read right now as I, when I read it um this book came out in 2019 like July 2019 and I am kind of glad that I waited a year to read it um, because of because of how the book wall works. You know, it's not like when a book comes out that I really want to read, as was the case with this one, because I do have a history of really enjoying Wendig's writing, and this one just looks interesting. I mean, like I love the stand and stuff like that. Uh, I don't just a book comes in the mail and I don't just immediately read it. You know, I've got a whole system with the book wall, and then I've got stacks of TBR books, and it's it's more complicated than it needs to be, but it works for me, kind of thing. Um, it's a it's it's a way for me to not neglect the books that have been in the book wall for you know literal years so I am kind of glad that I waited a year to read it I'm glad that it sat in the book wall for a year and then I eventually you know read it because it was if I had read it last last year last August like August 2019 I would have enjoyed it but I don't think it would have been as impactful as it was reading it in 2020 uh the writing is very immediate. Um, that is kind of Wendig's thing. Like he does a lot of the third person uh, present tense, but this one was actually in third person past, which is really very interesting. And I was very curious to see how how his writing was affected by that because third per third person present is like the most immediate writing you can get. Like that's what I use for my Vendetic books. Um, that's what I use for a uh, a standalone. I can't, I don't know if it's gonna be a novella or a novella yet, um, but the one that I'm writing right now. And it's very immediate, it's very quick, but 
he managed to hold on to his immediacy even when he was writing in past tense, which was very impressive, honestly. <laughs> Wendig is a very good writer. Like, honestly, like, he is, like, I, I'm, sometimes his, like, blog can be a little bit much, but I really, really enjoy his writing and I enjoy his prose. I enjoy his characters. He is a very skilled writer and I am very, very excited because um, I know he's got some more interesting things coming out soon. He was, he's, he's published under so many things and he's done so many different kind of storytelling techniques that it's just, it's just very, very, very good. He's just a very solid writer. Um, there was, it, there was kind of a twist end also. Like, it was, like... I mean, there were a couple things that were kind of like you could see coming, but there, I really, really enjoyed the main twist because nothing is really as it seems in this. And Wendig is also always really good at that. Is he's very good at weaving these things together so that when they, when he eventually like pulls the release and kind of lets you realize what happened, it's it makes sense and it's satisfying. But it's like you very rarely kind of see it coming. Um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, but overall, like it's not the stand. But it's pretty good anyway. Like, I, I honestly, I very, very, very much enjoyed this one. I heard that there might be a sequel, which would be kind of interesting. I'm not sure how well this book would lend to a sequel because I thought that it wrapped up. Like, there was an open enough end that I can see where he would write a sequel from. But I do kind of just like how this is kind of a self-contained 800-page story, you know? I don't know. Um, but I did, you know, I did, I did very, very much enjoy it. Like, I gave it five out of five stars. Would not be surprised if it was one of my favorites of the year because it was, I knew I was gonna like this one, man. Like, it was Wendig plus Stand situation. Like, I was gonna love it, but yeah, no, I ended up, I did end up very much enjoying it. And I would, I mean, if you are a fan of The Stand, I would end up, I would check it out. Or if The Stand, because The Stand is like 1,300 pages, this is only like 800. So if you like, if you're interested in the stand, but it's a little bit daunting, um, you know, page length wise, this one is a solid like 500 pages shorter. So there is that. But yeah, that is all I have for today. I will talk to you later and goodbye.